So in horizontal structure, we've got organizations around the core process. They shift toward horizontal structure during reorganization, and it eliminates vertical hierarchy and departmental boundaries. So in this example here, this is what we've got. This is a company, and uh, what they do in a horizontal structure is they focus on a core process. So this is one core process. Let's say this is a new product development process. You have a process owner and then you have teams. And the example for this horizontal structure is Yemensoft. Let's say Yemensoft now, they want to do this new uh, mobile banking, okay? So when they do a new mobile app banking, maybe they are, they have now what we call a process, which is you make a software. How many people will be involved to make a software? One, two, three teams. One team develop the structure of the software. One team, let's say, test it. And one team uh, make it connect with the everything else. Because if you have a mobile application, let's say for a CAC bank or mobile application, it has to go to the bank. So maybe one team make this, another team connect it to the bank, and a third team to test. So now you don't want to do a structure geographical or a function. It is more about the process itself. It is more complicated. So we have this horizontal structure where we get someone who's the owner of the project, the person who wants to make the mobile application. They go with the team one, team two, team three, and then give it to the customer. They do market analysis, they do research, they develop the product, they test it, and then they give it to the customer. Do you see? So this is a new structure. We call this horizontal structure. Are you guys okay with this? Excellent. The horizontal structure, it creates around cross-functional processes. So here, if you look at the three teams, maybe one team has one guy marketing, one team has one IT, one team has someone in accounting, Seems one like team has, do you see? So, it, depending on what is the process that is the main focus. And it is cross-functional processes from all functions. And it is self-directed. Every team, they direct themselves by themselves. The testing team, they do whatever they want to test it. Do you see? The uh, people who are responsible to analyze, they do whatever it takes to analyze. So every team is self-directed. There is no one individual who do everything. Remember, processes owners are responsible for the entire process. So there is someone responsible for the whole project. Is the top manager aware? Maybe not. Do you see? You know, you guys do mobile application for CAC Bank. You go, you do it. We don't know what you're doing. Do you see? Maybe we can say horizontal structure here in LIU will be, let's say, your student project. Students, they have a team, they go, they do it. Does the university president know about it? No. Do you see? So it's more of a process that we want to do, and then we go, we do it. People on the team are given authority for the decisions. You take your own decisions. And you increase flexibility. The organization is very flexible. Everyone can do whatever they want. And it may harm performance if critical processes are not correctly defined. So you need to make sure you define the process well so that it's success, okay? Because if it's not defined well and everyone do their own, and then, you know, you let wow. students go, they do whatever they want, we, no, we want to do some sort of, you know, control. You have to come back, report. We have to check on your progress. Are you guys okay with this? Great.